fucking pair of clowns. I'm sorry, sir. We risked our lives several times over trying to save... I... I, I know. I just wish I knew what was happening and why. Yes. Who has it in for our family? I mean, just because we are rich and happy. Is that a good reason to hate us? I do a lot of good in this town. A lot. This is hell for me. As I told you yesterday, when I get Fabiana back, I think I will move us to Miami or Geneva. But it feels like nothing good can come from living in Sao Paulo right now. I hope you're not giving up on our city, Senor Branco. Listen, we will catch the man. You have my word on that. Listen to Mr. Becker, brother. Yes, these are tough times, but we have been through it before. Like when father died. Father had a heart attack visiting a brothel. Yeah, it was humiliating and embarrassing for sure. But now this is different. This is the end for Well, she's not dead. Maybe we'll be lucky and get her back safe soon. I can almost guarantee it. If you do as I ask. Maybe. Be strong, brother. For your wife. I know this has been tough on you. But things will get better. For all of us. Hmm? Marcelo, pasos in my helicopter. This way. Sure. Mr. Becker? Senor? Let us give you a ride. Bom. Até logo, senor Branco. And may I say, you would be best served se contratar profissionais e não esses amadores pés de chinelo. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Até logo, Sr. Branco. I had so many plans, Max. Didn't we all? I was born into great fortune. Sometimes it feels like I have done nothing apart from being a rich man in a poor country. The men I talk to, they only see money. Now my wife, I am not naive. She does not love me for my body. Well, despite your good fortune, you're still a decent man. <laughs> am I? I don't know. I try to be. But maybe I'm just another rich fool, just like the rest of my friends. Com licença. Tem uma ligação para o senhor, um policial chamado Senhor da Silva. Ah, diga que eu ligo mais tarde. Sim. Another bent cop wanting a pension contribution. Do you think a pile of shit feels popular because it's surrounded by flies? Look at me. I'm a mess. O que está acontecendo? Meu Deus! Sim, pode entrar! Senhor, temos um problema. O sistema de segurança foi desativado. I can see that. We got men entering the building, and the office won't lock down. Posso? Claro que pode. It's not working. Uh, there's a way to reboot the system. If I can get to the server room, I should be able to get everything back online. Strange. You pay a couple million dollars, and you expect to, to push a button to, to be able to, to make all your problems go away. That was some useless junk and a bit of false confidence. I'm done, Max. Sir, let us handle this. You stay in your office, lock yourself in. Do not answer the door unless you know it's me. Let's go. I should be able to override the system if I could just get to the server room. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Get down behind the desk now, both of you. <laughs> Damn. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come.
This was the pass key to Becker's office. I was close to the end of all this, and I could feel it. Becker! <laughs> Something funny about dying? I felt like the avenging angel. I looked like a fat, bald dude with a bad temper. You disgusting piece of shit! I know everything! Not everything, my friend. Let go of him, Max. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> There's a good fellow. Well, well, well. Thomas, you feel the good! Maybe they were in the next terminal. Yeah, yeah! It had taken me right into the heart of it. Becker's gimps were everywhere, so he and Bronco must be close. The smart move would have been sticking with De Silva and going straight to the hangar, but when was I ever about smart moves? I'm a dumb move guy. Hey Max, we'll drive onto the runway. No thanks, let me walk in the main entrance. At least I'd die being a pain in the ass. There the bastards were, sneaking off in their rich kid's toy. I got nowhere else to go, Becker! Mr. Payne, I believe you had something to say to me! Mate ele! Mate ele agora! Não! Não! Não!
This was it. It was almost over. So I guess I'd become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death, and I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. One card left to play. Just get me close. Nice running in over on the right. Nice right. Come on, don't give up. Come on, you've got a flight to catch. It's not going to take off without you. I don't know how much more. Prison. Let him suffer. Trust me. <laughs> you know I walk. You walk <laughs> with a little. Speak English? Uh-huh, falo sim, sem problema. 